This braid is messier than my life which is saying something. Hey guys, so today I'm finally filming my products that I want to use up in 2016 update. I will link the first video down below. I've added a lot of products since then, so things have kind of changed. There's also a lot of things that I don't have here right now because either I gave them away or they were in an empties and I threw them away but without even thinking about it. I will link my empties playlist down below so you can kind of see some of the products if you want to, but Anyway, let's go on. Let's get on into the video. I'm gonna start with the products that I just decided to get rid of. Some of these were added on and then I decided to get rid of them. Like from testing them out, I just decided that I didn't like them. For skincare, I just have one thing. I have this Neutrogena sunscreen. It's just really old. Like it has to be at least like three years old now, I think, which is too old for a sunscreen, I believe. And um, I don't trust it, so I'd rather just use the sunscreen that's new. So I have a bunch of makeup products that I got rid of. Not a bunch. I have five. Um, the NYC blush and West Side Wine I don't have right now because I gave it to my mom, I think. My mom or my sister, I don't know. I had a full size of the Hard Candy eyeshadow primer. I think, yeah, Eyes the Limit is what it's called. I had a full size of this and I decided to give it to my sister because it wasn't working for me on my eyes, but I have this little mini of it that I got in one of their palettes and I have started kind of trying to test it out as a face primer. Because if you look at the consistency of it, it's, a, it's very similar to the Professional from Benefit. I don't know if you can really see, but it kind of has a similar sort of feel and look to it it's not as good I can go ahead and tell you that but I've been using it like right here just a couple times and I'm not sure how I feel about it but I think I can maybe use this up that way so it's kind of still in here I guess it's not the full size why am I talking so high next that I got rid of I gave to my mom is the profuse it profuse it the profusion natural palette and I was just going to try and finish off one of the shades. I think it was like the very first shade to the very left. You can see in the first video. But I decided to get rid of it because I really didn't like those shadows and they didn't do much for me. All of these products that I decided to get rid of have been replaced by plenty of new things. There have been plenty of things added to this list since the very first video. So the next thing I'm throwing away, this is the Baby Lips in pink punch and it's just do you do you see that i don't know if you can really yeah okay yeah it's really old and like the texture changed and it just kind of fell apart really badly so i'm just gonna get rid of it and the last thing that i decided to get rid of is this i don't i don't actually know what brand it is it's this strawberry lip gloss that i got in my stocking but I was trying to use this up and I just didn't really like it. I didn't really like the scent of it. I didn't really like the like texture of it, the feeling. So I'm just gonna give this to somebody else. Now onto the stuff that I have used up. The first thing I don't have with me, this is something else, why do I have this in my hand right now? The first thing I don't have with me anymore, but it is the Velvet Sugar Perfume from Bath & Body Works, which I really like. The next thing is the Japanese Cherry Blossom The next thing is the Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Spray by Bath & Body Works, which I also don't have. But I do have the lotion that went with it, and this is not it. I don't know why I grabbed this. Here it is. Okay, there we go, guys. Okay, I do have the lotion of Japanese Cherry Blossom. That was a weird way to say that, but whatever. It's this little mini one, and I used this up. The next thing I just have written down is Gross Germex. <laughs> like, it's in my last empties, but it's just, it was this really weird off-brand, kind of trying to be like the Bath & Body Works ones, but it was awful and smelled disgusting. So I used that up for whatever reason. The next thing is a Body Ecology body spray and the lotion. I have the lotion, I don't have the body spray anymore. Um, 
It's called Cherish the Moment, and it was really nice. My piano teacher got this for me, but I just have so many, and they were really small, so I decided to use them up, and I really liked them. Next is this natural deodorant that I was trying. It's the brand Jason, I guess, and it's supposed to be, like, really good for you and all of that, but it did not work for me at all. I would not recommend this, but I don't know. I know there's like a whole thing about natural deodorants and how you have to like give them a while to work with your body chemistry, but I'm not into that. I don't want to smell bad for like months just to get it to work. So I'm okay with putting harmful toxins into my body because I mean I eat McDonald's practically every day so what's the point? And lastly for the body stuff that I used up is this Beauty Bohem perfume. I think this is from Forever 21 and I used it all the way up. It's also like cracked on the back but used it up and I'm really proud of how much perfume and body spray stuff that I've used up this year because that itch is hard and I have a bunch of it so I'm really happy to get some out. Next is skincare and I've only used up two things. I used up the Skin Fix hand cream and I don't have that with me but I didn't really like it and then I have this Cetaphil, Cetaphil, I don't know how to say it, lotion that I used to get and I just wanted to use this last one up because I don't plan on repurchasing them. Okay, now on to makeup, and I've actually used up a lot of makeup stuff. I mostly had makeup stuff on here because it was the thing that I wanted to really focus on. First, I have a bunch of baby products. That sounds weird. What I mean by that is the Maybelline like baby line. The baby skin primer, and then I have this baby lips crystal and crystal kiss, and baby lips in cherry me, and then baby lips lip gloss and tickled paint. I finished two Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliners in Onyx and Pewter. And lastly, for Maybelline, I have this Fit Me Concealer in what? It, yeah, Light. That's my favorite concealer, by the way. It's amazing, and I will continue to repurchase it all the time. I have three things from e.l.f. The e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. e.l.f. Eyeshadow... What is it? Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. And the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Primer. I really like these two. This is just okay for me. This is my proudest accomplishment. This is like the one thing that I've used up that I'm proudest of, and maybe I shouldn't be because it is just a deluxe sample, but it's the first and only lipstick that I've ever used up. To be fair, I only started getting into lipstick like a year ago, so all of this stuff is pretty new. This is the Kat Von D Steady Kiss Lipstick in Lovecraft, and it's just a little tiny sample. It's 0 0.04 ounces, so like, it's really small. I really shouldn't be as proud of it as I am, but it's the first lipstick that I've ever used up, and I am really proud of it because it did take a really long time for me to use it. I can kind of get a rough swatch for you, but that's what it looks like. It's such a pretty color. The formula is not my absolute favorite, but it's pretty nice. I have this Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. This packaging is just so messed up. It's just so... oh god. I don't really understand the hype behind this. I don't... I don't know. Maybe like... I need to try it out with an actual shade and not the translucent one. I don't know. I just didn't find it to be that amazing. I have two items from CoverGirl that I really like. The CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation and the Full Lash Blue Mascara. This is the waterproof version and I accidentally got the wrong color. I got black brown instead of just black. So I think I'm going to go and repurchase this in black so that I can actually like use it more, but I really liked this. I have this EOS lip balm in Summer Fruit. It is gold. And I already have another one of this that my mom bought for me, so yay! I have these two little L'Oreal brow pencils that I don't even know the name of. I don't even remember, but they weren't like very good or anything. I wouldn't repurchase them. So they are gone. And lastly, the last things that I've used up are the Revlon Photo Ready powder and the lip gloss in snow pink. I really like the lip gloss. I think I would get another shade of this maybe. Try it out. Um, and this, it looked really nice. Like it made your skin look very flawless, but it did not control oil as well as I would like it to. Now onto the stuff that I have yet to use up, but I am working on. This is so close to being done. It was full 
at the start of this year. Like practically completely full. I'd only used it a couple times before and now it is almost entirely empty. There is a tiny, tiny little bit at the end that you could you can't even really see it on camera, but that is how much I'm working with. I just didn't want to include it in like the empties yet because there's still stuff that I can get out of it, so I'm gonna try. But it is so close to being done. I don't even expect it to last a week. I use this like every night just before I go to bed. As I don't know, I like to put on perfume before I go to bed. It's a thing. And then I have this A Thousand Wishes body spray, which is right here. And I got this for Christmas, so I haven't had it for a super long time. It was pretty much full at the beginning of the year, too. This is one of my favorites. I just have so many, and I was using this one a lot, so I figured I should go ahead and try to use it up. For skin, the only thing I have left is this e.l.f. lip exfoliator, which is kind of skincare. Kind of. I don't really know what to include it as, but that's where I'm at with it. And if you go back to the original video, you can kind of see the progress, but I've gotten a lot farther. I just uh, need to keep using this. Now on to makeup. I have this Rimmel BB cream that I'm wearing today and I actually like really like it. It has a really nice coverage for a BB cream. Like I feel like it's more of like a medium coverage than a light coverage like most but um, it doesn't really have the staying power of a foundation so I like wearing this to film because it looks nice on camera I feel like and I don't really wear makeup for a super long time if it's just a filming day. So, I think I'll use this up pretty quickly. I'm not sure exactly where it's at, but it doesn't feel like there's too much left in this. Next, I have the ColourPop Shadow in Puppy Love. This was a limited edition thing, and it went to a charity that went to, like, saving puppies, obviously, and cats and, like, other animals. But this is the shade, and I've hit pretty major pan on it. I used to use this, like, all over my lid, just, like, almost every day so that's why I have a lot of progress on this here's the shade it's kind of hard to see because it is so light but it's a really pretty like iridescent pink and so I use it a lot I hope that I can like get through this by the end of the year but I'm not really entirely sure that I will next I have this NARS little like deluxe sample lip pencil in Rakuchian Rakuchian Rak I don't know how to say it nobody does anyway it's really pretty and I'll be kind of sad when it's gone, kind of like I was with the Kat Von D, but I just have so many lipsticks and I want to get some out and the only ones that I have that are like this tiny size are higher end ones that I won't end up repurchasing for like a long time. So I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this. I don't know. I kind of just want to get it out to get it done with, you know, just enjoy it while I have it and then be done with it. Here's that one. It's a really pretty shade. I just don't know that it's anything too special that I would spend the kind of money on this. I also have another lipstick. This is a little deluxe sample of the Too Faced Melted Metal Lipstick in Melted Metallic Peony. Here's that one. Next, I want to use up the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. I think that these are good. It's just that they go so fast and I'm already like about to be done with this. Like it's right here. So, not too worried about using this up. Next, I like to use up this Burt's Bees lip balm. I'm not really sure how much left I have of this. How much I have of this left, I think is a better way of saying it. And I don't want to roll it up all the way because I'm afraid it'll like, it won't go back down because I had that happen recently and I messed up the entire thing and like totally broke it and ruined it and it sucked. But I use this every time that I do my makeup to kind of prime my lips and I also just reach for it sometimes because it's a really nice lip balm. Next I have this cherry vanilla lip gloss that my sister decluttered and I decided to take. I have no idea where this is from. I think it's just like a Walmart lip gloss that you can just pick up. It smells really good though and it feels nice so I just keep this by my bed so I can use it before I go to sleep. One thing I find really funny, and I mean, I don't know, I'm sh <laughs> I just like warnings on products <clears throat> that are just like really obvious crack me up because I feel like there had to be an incident that caused that to be like a thing. This one says, do not apply around eyes. Who? 
would apply a lip gloss around your eyes. Like, what? Wh why? Why would you... It's all those life hacks, I swear. Beauty hacks or whatever people be trying to do. Then you gotta have ridiculous warnings on the back of products. Okay, the last two things I just want to hit pan on. So, first is the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. Um, I don't know, that you can't really see how much of a dip there is in it, but there's a pretty sizable dip in there. And the last thing is that I just want to hit pan on any three eyeshadows. I just added that to the list not too long ago, so I didn't include any eyeshadows that I used in the year before adding that. So I have, like, hit pan on other shadows during this year, but I'm not including those, if that makes sense. But other than that, we will see in the next update, which will actually be the finale at the end of the year where you can see all of this. I'll also have a video because I'm keeping all of the makeup that I'm using up this year in a different like pile so you can see that video at the end of the year of all the makeup that I've used up. So subscribe to see that. Well, I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!